Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name's Mike. In this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know to get Middleman set up and running on your Windows computer. So Middleman relies on a programming language called Ruby. So in order to properly install and run Middleman on our computer, we're first gonna to need to install the Ruby programming language onto our computer. And once we've installed Ruby, then since Middleman's written in Ruby, it can use that to run and to help us build our website. I'm gonna head over to my browser and I'm up here at this website. It's called rubyinstaller.org forward slash downloads. And this is the official uh, page where you can download the Ruby installer. And over here, you'll see that there's a bunch of different options for Ruby installers to download. Now, currently Ruby is on version 2.4.2. So basically 2.4. And there's actually a difference in how you install Ruby 2.4 and versions before Ruby 2.4. So if you're gonna be installing Ruby version 2.3 or lower, the process for installing it is actually a little bit different than the process that we're gonna be following in this video. I'm gonna be downloading and installing Ruby 2.4, and therefore, if you're installing and downloading a Ruby version that's 2.4 or above, the instructions in this video will work. If you want to install a Ruby version that's lower than 2.4, then the instructions in this video might not work for you. That's just a quick disclaimer. I'm gonna click on this Ruby 2.4 download link, and you can see it's for a 64-bit operating system. If you don't have a 64-bit operating system, if you have a 32-bit operating system, you can click on this one. Once I click that, it's gonna start downloading, and then I just wanna click on the executable file that just downloaded. and this window should pop up right here and this is basically the ruby installer so this is a program that's going to help us to install ruby on our computer i'm just going to accept the license and over here this is going to be the location that ruby's going to install to i'm just going to leave it alone it's in my c drive in a folder called ruby 24 and then there's three options down here you want to make sure that you're adding the ruby executable to your path that's very important so you want to check that one and then you want to make sure that you're associating uh, these types of files with ruby those should be checked by default. If you want, you can check this guy down here, but it's not required. I'm just gonna click install, and this installer will start running. Once that's finished installing, there's gonna be an option that you'll see right here, which says run RIDK install to install MSYS2. It's very important that this is checked, and so I'm just gonna click finish, and you'll notice that a window pops up here, and this is Ruby installer 2 for Windows. So. This is just a program that is gonna help us finish the Ruby installation. You can see that there's three options here, option one, option two, and option three. We are gonna install MSYS2 and the MINGW development tool chain. Now, don't get intimidated because this is kind of like a you know command line window and you're like typing in options. All you have to do is just hit three and we're just gonna let this go. And you'll see this window should pop up here. I'm just gonna click next. We're basically installing a program called MSYS2 onto our computer. Once that's done installing, there's an option here to run it. I'm just gonna uncheck that. We don't need to run this, and then I'm gonna click Finish. Now, some more code should be executing inside of this command line over here. And I actually got this error where it said, um, failed installation, uh, Pac-Man failed. This is something that you might encounter. Um, you might not encounter it if everything goes fine and you don't get an error, then you're basically done. But if you get an error like that, it means that one of the packages that we're supposed to be installing isn't up to date. So I'm just gonna click two, which is MSYS2 system update. And we're just gonna update the stuff that we just installed. And a bunch of stuff here is gonna be running and we're installing some additional things that we're gonna need. Once that's done installing and everything is done and you get this succeed message, now we're just gonna click this three option again. So I'm just gonna type three and click enter and now we'll be able to install that MINGW development tool chain. And then once that's done executing and installing everything and you've gotten another succeed message, then we're done in this window and everything that we need to install middleman is officially set up on our computer. What I want to do is go down into this search bar and I'm just going to type in CMD and this command prompt right here should pop up. Inside this command prompt, we want to check to see that everything downloaded correctly. I'm just going to type Ruby dash dash ver version. 
and the Ruby version that we're using should pop up. And now that we've done that, we've made sure that Ruby's installed, we can actually install middleman. So I'm just gonna type out gem. And gem is a package manager that is used for Ruby. So basically gem just allows us to download and install on our computer programs that are built using Ruby. So I'm gonna type gem, install middleman, just like that, click enter. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna go out, it's gonna download a bunch of different files on our computer and then we'll have middleman installed and ready to go. Once that middleman install script is done running, I wanna head back into my command line and let's just test and make sure that everything was installed correctly. I'm just gonna type middleman and then version. And the middleman version that we're currently running is gonna pop out. So as long as that middleman version command worked and you didn't get any errors up here, then middleman is officially installed on your Windows computer and not only that, but also Ruby is installed on your computer. So if there's other programs in Ruby that you want to use, you can now use them. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.